unlike you two, I actually am a, a baby boomer. Uh, now, I note Jane Caro, one of our favourites from the nine newspapers, particularly Sophie, she loves having a crack at Jane Caro, who deserves it from time to time. <laughs> so her 68-year-old husband goes into a bakery. I, I, I can't believe we're actually talking about this, but goes into a bakery and the young bakery worker says to Jane Caro's husband, uh, how are you, young man, or what can I do for you, young man? Now, Caro's husband's 68 years old, same age as me. Um, he comes home and says he was humiliated by a young bakery worker who called him a young man. If someone calls me a young man, I give him a high five, Sophie, and say, thank you very much. I feel young today. I feel great. What's going on here? Mm. Steve, I agree with you. Why on earth are we even talking about outrage over something that was so innocently said? And even at my age, uh, and I'm a bit younger than you, Steve, I like it if someone calls me young. I'll take that. I take that as a compliment. Uh, how utterly ridiculous. And this just sort of puts us in the world of Jane Carrow. If that's what upsets her husband, then they certainly don't have a lot of things to worry about if it's something as innocent as that said from a bakery worker, heaven help us. So, James, uh, Caro says this is another example of ageism. I mean, seriously, Jane Caro, I should get her on the program. I can give her a, a thousand examples of ageism. Being called young by a bakery worker is hardly one that you would write home about. Yeah, good luck if he went to the bottle -o and got asked for his licence to show ID. Um, no wonder kids no longer want to talk to you when you go to the checkout. You know, I get grunted at sometimes when I go to Woolworths by the young kids behind the uh, the counter. And I think to myself now, no wonder they're like that because uh, if, if this is the sort of dragon lady that wants to publish horrible comments in a newspaper because somebody dares to say, uh, how are you, young man? Look, the world's coming to a... A nasty end. I dread getting old if I'm going to end up like Jane Caro. Yeah, I think she might have just run out of ideas and what to write. That's how that ended up in the, in the Sydney yeah. Morning Herald.